Are you currently doing self myofascial release? Yeah, you're taking a foam roller and you're rolling your body, right? Well, no, not all self myofascial release is the same. Now, let me show you a few key differences. The number one thing is the diameter. So the size of the roller that you're rolling on matters. For example, let's take it into the neck position. So if I have sore neck pain and I'm going to be rolling my neck, I'm being forced into this forward neck position. Now this is completely counterintuitive. Why is it not working? Why is it not fixing my neck? Well, I'm five, six and it's too big for me. It doesn't work. It doesn't fix my neck. I feel like I'm being forced into this position. And if you want to restore function into your neck, you need something smaller in diameter that fits ergonomically and perfectly into the upper curvature of your cervical neck to restore function. There we go. My eyes are up and I am feeling relaxed. I'm put in a nice, healthy therapeutic position where I can massage the muscles and the fascia at the back of my neck and realign my neck and reset my body into a rest and digest mode. So diameter matters. Now it's not just the neck. Let's try this in the armpit. So I'm going to be working my lats. Hey lats to peck. And I'm going to be using the same exact technique. All right, going in there. Now I want to grab at my skin to create some fascia glide. So self my fascia release. If you want a result, you're going to create a fascia glide. It's going to try to grab the skin and what? It's not grabbing my skin. Here we go. Try this again. Not grabbing my skin. So I'm unable to do fascial glide moves like I am with the travel roller. So again, getting into the armpit a little more precise because I'm getting deeper into the, the lat and the pec. Now I'm going to apply the same exact fascia glide. Here we go. Grab the skin. Oh yeah. Pulling of the skin means it's changing the top and the bottom layers. So I'm going to get sliding services so the fascia can change. So I'm going to realign it, restructure it, and get it nice and healthy. So I can combine my compression, my shearing, and my torque. Now we can continue this on all areas of the body. Let's take it into the hip flexors. So again, I'm a runner, I like to sprint. I want my hip flexors and my quads to get loosened. So I'm gonna be starting to roll my quads, right? So most people are doing this back and forth. Now I'm not getting very deep into the quad because it's very large in diameter. I'm trying to get into my hip flexor now and rolling like this. Can't really get in there deep. I'm going to try to do this shearing. It's not really working for me. I need something more advanced. So this in comes actual high performance self myofascial release. And it's not just for athletes. It's for every single person, because if you want high performance, you just want to save yourself some time. You want a better effect, right? All right. So I'm getting in my hip flexors, much more precise, much deeper. And I'm, doing the shearing and compression on, oh yeah, it hurts more, but that's where I get the release more because it gets to those deeper layers. It's not just rolling the surface of the top of my skin, but I'm going to those dysfunctional under deeper, dense packed connective tissue. That is where the change happens. If you can get to those deeper fascial layers. That feels amazing. Now let's try this in the adductors. This is a great one. If you're a hockey player or an athlete, or even you're sitting at a desk, the adductors are connected to your deep myofascial core. And here I am feeling like I'm being put into a, a weird torquing position where my lower back feels more uncomfortable. So I'm putting this closer towards my knee now. Now I'm feeling, again, almost like I'm just not in a good position. I feel some stress on my lower back in which I don't want to receive. And it's just a broad pressure on my muscle here. 
All right, let's try the Traveler 4.3. Same thing. That feels a lot better. I'm lower to the ground and my hips are not being torqued. So I can get deeper into my adductor, into my groin area. Oh yeah, that feels good. And you can do that shearing. All right, works in all areas of the body. Let's try the tibialis anterior. All right, rolling up my cool pants here. All right, let's try some tibialis anterior. Here, I barely feel any pressure. You can't put enough force on it. I just can't, okay? That's why they want you to do these balls on this block and stuff. Like, seriously, like, you don't need that stuff. You just need this one tool. Okay. Not feeling it, not digging it. Let's try to do some fascia glide on this. Not gliding. Self my fascia release, right? We're doing it. Are you really doing it though? Are you really doing self myofascial release if you're listening to someone who doesn't know how to do self myofascial release? <laughs> now let's do it on the travel roller 4.3. All right, grabbing the skin, fascia glide. It's grabbing my skin. So what is that doing? Again, it's grabbing the top layer so that I can apply compression and force and torque, yeah, to start restructuring and, and getting health into this area that is lacking of oxygen. So this is where that deep self myofascial release gets in. And I can show you how to do this high performance foam rolling. Now, this is a system that I've been working on for the last 15 years. And I did invent the travel roller and I've helped hundreds of thousands of people get amazing pain-free results. And I was there. I had so much body pain. I had back pain, IT band pain, TBLS and tear, everything needed to be restructured. And I will share with you how exactly I did that. You'll have a lower back pain protocol, upper shoulder, neck protocol, everything for you to reset your body, de-stress and start exercising with joy again. So that's what I want you to help you achieve is that deep self myofascial release that actually works, that sticks. Now, if you're still just, you know, rolling and you're not doing the proper activation and strengthening, then you are not going to get that lasting effect, right? We can't just, we can't just roll everything and then expect to be like jello, right? We have to restructure it we need to do proper core activation, glute activation, and you'll get that in that program as well. So we also do an alternating pattern of mobility and stability within all of my programs. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to share all of that with you to get you those results that I achieved. I wish there was a program like this that I could have just followed 15 years ago and I didn't have to go through all that pain. I didn't have to build 20,000 travel rollers by hand. Ah, I wish I didn't have to do that. I wish I could have just had some guru that showed me how to roll, gave me the tool, and there you go. Go live your life, do what you want, and be pain-free. I wish I had that. And you know what? I'm so grateful, and I'm so excited to share with you this program so you can get those results fast. The quote goes like this. One day, or... Day one. One day. Or day one. Uh, I'll do it one day. Okay? That's up to you. Or day one. I hope you took away some valuable information on deep self myofascial release from this video. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. Love to hear what you think about how to do high performance foam rolling versus low performance foam rolling, which you probably have been doing this entire time. 
So now it's time to upgrade your foam roller to a harder travel roller so you can start feeling the effects. A larger diameter roller is a great start, so you haven't been wasting your time completely, but it's time to shift your body to that next level, and I'm here to help you and guide you through your entire body. If you want to learn more, download the Travel Roller This Is How We Roll app and courses.